If you're wondering why this white girl is talking about fat back and ham hocks, it's because I'm not white. Both of my parents are actually black Native American. There's some white in there somewhere, sprinkled in there somewhere. Um, but yes, I am black. And when you look multiracial like myself, why is it that people always feel the need to try and guess what you are? <laughs> She's white, mm-mm, she is Puerto Rican. Clearly she is albino. <laughs> Sir, that is not even a race. <laughs> But, uh, not that there's anything wrong with albino people. I'm pretty close. <laughs> Dating is hard when you look like this too. Dating is really awkward because you never know what people are going to expect. I was out with a guy one time and he was like, oh, I didn't know you were black. Check, please. I said, but you're black. <laughs> He said, yes, Candace, but I'm an NFL player. <laughs> I'm glad you guys got that one. Sometimes it just goes, Phew. yeah, they don't like black girls. That's when I tell them I'm white so I can date them. Um, <clears throat> um, but, oh yeah, growing up was awkward because, you know, I couldn't really go to like get my hair done at the black salons with all the other black girls and because it just wouldn't go right with my hair. So I just went, my mom took me to a white hairdresser and the hairdresser, she tricked me. Uh, she, she was like, oh, I'm just gonna give you some layers, layers on the top and then I'm just gonna leave it long and pretty in the back. And I didn't know that was the ingredients for a mullet. <laughs> I didn't, I had no idea. Um, so instead of just looking like the poor white girl that wanted to be black, I ended up just looking like a white girl that was poor. 